Hey, hey, what's happening out there in YouTube land, everyone? It's WrestleMania Saturday. You know what that means. Time for another jam-packed episode of ABW Detonate right here on YouTube. I am the old school AB, being joined once again by the bard of the boiler room, the deacon of destrucity, the pontiff of pain himself, one and only kind man. Kind man, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing fabulous at WrestleMania Saturday. I got a uh, stand and deliver on the screen to my right, muted. Yes. Um, I got my two championship belts, the all time WrestleMania champion, Undertaker, on one shoulder, and the greatest tag team championship belt of design of all time on the left shoulder. Very cool. Very cool. Of course, out of the two of us, I'm the only one with championship gold that counts. <laughs> well, until tomorrow night. <laughs> until tomorrow night. Those are strong words from a strong no, man. I am going to go on a Roman Reigns domination strength. Oh, okay. Okay. I Except see. Except I will be more interesting <laughs> and fun <laughs> than Roman Reigns. Oh, boy. That is tough. Those are strong words from a strong man. Captain Insano. Um, you got to be strong to lift this type of weight. I'm sure. What are those weigh, by the way? Those about weigh five, five or ten pounds each? Yeah, they're they're good size. Yeah, they're, this, they're... Is, this is a commemorative Undertaker um, championship. Right. Uh, edition from his, ex, you know, from his just unbelievable career. And this one is just, you know, we, we used to have a, um, on the Super Bowl, Mm -hmm. uh, for 20 straight years, I had a two-on-two -two, uh, billiards tournament called the Super Bowl of Billiards. Okay. Prior to the big game when I had a party at, at my house, and we had tag team belts. And it, and it we went, you know, I, I we had three different belts over the course of 20 years because I upgraded them over, over years. But this is my favorite of all time, the, the bronze version of the current um that blue and red shit oh my yeah, god just i don't know go, go away yeah i don't you know, know. You got, you, here you got black and bronze i mean it yeah. just it just pops it does it looks really good um, yeah my oh my favorite was always um the wwe tag team championships from the 80s the ones that uh lod wore um mm -hmm. those were my that's my personal favorite looking style um, not that the other title championships don't look good, but you know, if I have my my preference, that's the one I'm going for. But I'll tell you what, those belts look really, really nice. They, yeah, I, don't, I just don't think they look as nice as this cheap forty dollar representation of our uh, continued. Uh, yeah, that that thing that thing costs as much to ship back to you <laughs> as it did to buy. <laughs> that's the point, man. That's the it's it's about it's about the ass pain. It's, it's not about. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's what it's, it's about the ass pain. Um, anyways, um, I want to start things off by saying that the last Dark Side of the Ring episode with Harley Race might have been my favorite uh, oh. one of all time. Uh, it's it's close. I mean, there's a couple of them in there that I really, really like. But um, people today just have no idea, no idea whatsoever how important Harley Race was for modern professional wrestling. Um Mick Foley, you know, he said it best in that show where, you know, he said people nick things from Harley all the time and don't even realize they're doing it. You know, the high knee, the headbutt off the top rope. He was doing that clear back in the day before anybody else was doing it. He was taking punishment that, my God, you know, modern wrestlers wouldn't even take, uh, shouldn't take to this day. Um, yeah. Uh, he was probably also the single toughest son of a bitch I ever saw in wrestling. I don't know. It'd be a, a toss-up, right? It'd be a toss-up between him and Meng. Um, uh, Meng or Haku, whatever you want to call him, right? But um, I'd like to see the two of those face off in their primes against each other. That would be one hell of, uh, of, of, of a match. Uh, you could probably even throw Steve Regal in there. Um, William Regal. Um, he's a bit of a tough cookie, but yeah. Is his real name Steve? Uh, no, I think his real name is William. I go back to, you know, Steve Regal was his first name in, 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 the, oh, okay. in wrestling. So, you know, Lord Stephen Regal, where he was uh, the British royalty aristocracy. Pretty good stuff. And he was even 
he was Steve Regal before he was Lord Steven Regal. He was just tough ass Steve Regal. But yeah, and um going in now going into next week, um I have a lot to say. Unfortunately, this is the you know, rotten timing for AEW, but I have a lot to say on AEW and I'm going to save it for the next show. Maybe they'll turn things around by then, but I really want to give a state of the union on AEW because uh, yeah, it's like that, <laughs> you know, and, and look, I I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm probably going to order um, the dynasty pay-per-view just because I want to see Brian Danielson versus Will Ospreay. You know, I, I think that is going to be a fantastic match. Um, Regardless of whether people in the States know about it or not, you know, Will Ospreay is a damn good worker. Um, I'm not oh, yeah. terribly familiar with his work, but gee, many Christmas, he can, he can go a streak, can, can he? He pops, he pops in every category. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do in the ring with, uh, with uh, Brian D, is it Brian D, yeah. Brian Danielson? Yeah. And we, and I'll, with that AEW State of the Union, we will have probably my favorite top five list that i've done yet oh and it's just it's so much fun to to look back and to and to create this list this is the one i've had the most fun doing the list right um easily and it is the top five high flyers of all time oh very cool and just it's it's been a blast to reminisce. Very cool, man. I can't wait for that. That's going to be a good episode. You'll want to tune into that one, the next yeah. episode. But but speaking. there is kind of something going on today. Yeah, there's there's kind of something going on today, and it's what could it be? I mean, I I get accused of getting hit in the head, having a touch of Alzheimer's. Um, <laughs> wait, it's WrestleMania Saturday. It yeah. is WrestleMania. That's why we're in such a good mood because it's WrestleMania weekend. And um, I know Kind Man is, is really um, doing, going all out. He's got stand and deliver. Um, yeah, no, on, I, got, I got Braun Breaker and uh, what's his name? The guy that I don't know why he's on the NXT because he's older than dirt. Oh, Baron Corbin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, all you had to say. I'm like, oh, fair enough. Yeah, when, 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 I, when I think of what's next, right? I'm not, I'm not thinking of, of you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not the next big thing at all. And I won't yeah. do any spoilers in case anyone's going to watch this later. Right. But I do, if you see me look to my right, uh, it is uh, just catching the stand and deliver. Yeah, which, he's not trying to look at me, folks. Which just like SmackDown is in the Wells Fargo arena, not not the not where WrestleMania is. Right. 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 Yeah, they're, they're not going to waste that set. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um enough of I'm all just that. looking forward to to um to what uh, Tony Storm. That's Oh yeah, Timeless Tony Storm. She's great. Yeah. No, That's one of the best things to come out of AEW's women division in 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 ages, ages. I mean, don't get me wrong, Deanna Perazzo is great and all, but Timeless Tony Storm is the teetotal shit. So, oh yeah. Anyways, um, I like when she swears, and and <laughs> it makes everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god. Anyways, um, let's get on to today's main event. We're here to discuss um, the predictions, and as we stated at the top of the program, the belt is on the line, and it's yours truly. The dominant five-time World Heavyweight Prediction Championship master takes on that basement-dwelling, mask-wearing, pie-to-the-face-taking kind man for all the marbles. Let's get into our predictions. I just cut a promo on you. How do you think? What, what do you think of that? I thought it was. I thought it was all right. <laughs> like, I think. It, I think it's historically accurate. Right. Um, I, I don't think it's futuristically relevant <laughs> no i think it because, is because i know i know what's gonna happen at wrestlemania xl okay uh, well let's be... put your money where your mouth is let's enough talking yeah. let's get into it bucko yeah. um throw them out let's i will go. throw them out and if, if i'm gonna throw them out do you want to i don't know how to maybe keep track of who's got which matches i think i know how to do it 
keep track of right. who's who's the winners and, and who's the losers or who's different, I guess, because we're going to bound to pick. Yeah, no, we're so obviously pick. there's going to be some similar yeah. predictions. Yeah, so yeah. it's so. it's going to be, we're going to have to highlight the matches where we have where a we're difference. Yeah, Bring them. okay. And hopefully we are not, um, you know, 14 for 14 on the same thing. <laughs> yeah, or somebody's going to have to change their mind real fast. We've, we've had some good ones. We, I, I think we've yeah. had some pay-per-views where we've had um, – you know, 10 out of 12 different, like, yeah. like, so, and the beauty of rest, WrestleMania is probably the best one for this, this, uh, yeah. Winter, yeah. Because they're really either side could win every match. Oh yeah. And you know what? And like, I was... like we went through the Royal rumble last time yeah. and it was just like, okay. Yeah. Like we know who's winning all these matches leading up to WrestleMania. Right. Other than rumble, but then the rumble, we knew it was one of three guys. Um, yeah. And, uh, so this is probably the best one for our wager. Yeah. And I would say that this is probably, and I would go on record to say, at least from my perspective, the first WrestleMania in years, literally over a decade that I've legitimately been excited for that. I've mm -hmm. legitimately been, I, I anticipate this, you know, they actually did it right. Uh, despite messing up the build to some degree, you yeah. know, they actually, they actually did a really good job. And I, for one, I'm usually am very good at this. I'm, I'm struggling with some of these picks. So, yeah, um, no, I, I, I had two in particular. Yeah. Both from day one. Yeah. That I really had a hard time. Yeah. So let's get into it, man. Uh, match one. I'm going to go in, in now what I did was I went to uh, Bleacher Report and I copied down right. their, their matches in their quote order. unquote order, right? Right. Quote unquote. This may or may not be the order the matches happen in, folks. Correct. We start off with Rhea Ripley, who is the champion against Becky Lynch. And this is just a singles match for the WWE Women's Championship. Uh, I'm going with Rhea on this one. I think Rhea retains the, ma the uh, championship at WrestleMania this time around. Okay. Um, I don't think I, well, instead of me saying, I don't think, let me say, I start by saying, I think that they're really trying to build Rhea Ripley into an interna international star and they want her to be a champion when she goes around, you know, uh, the world, same category with Gunther in a way. Um, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to him in just a minute, but that's the reasoning that I'm going for. I, 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 I just don't think it makes good business sense to take the strap off of Rhea right now. Okay. Um, we are going to have our first disagreement. Oh, okay. Um, and I love your reasoning. I love absolutely the reasoning why you say Rhea, and this is one that was very hard for me. Yeah. Um, I, I, I am going to pick Becky Lynch. Okay. And not because I want her to win, not because, because quite frankly, I love Rhea as a character oh, sure. more than Becky Lynch. Um, oh, yeah. I think Rhea is more dominant. I think I think there's a storyline in this WrestleMania that the Judgment Day will be knocked a little bit off their perch, mm -hmm. and I think and I think this match sets the tone for that. Um, Becky also just released a book that she's been doing book signings and and all of these yeah. things. WWE loves promotion. Oh, they do. Um, loves all of that, and so I'm going to go Becky Lynch based on the book and based on a theme I have that I think the judgment day not completely is going to have a bad night or okay. bad two nights, but they're going to, they're going to be tested a little bit uh, where I think like, for example, I, I don't think McDonough will be a judgment day member after this weekend. His huge um, head. I, yeah. I, I, think that, <laughs> I think there will be a comeuppance. And how do you set the stage for that is you cut off the head of the snake on night one. G.D. McDonough? No. Rhea Ripley. Oh, okay. He's you the head, have, of, he's the, the leader the biggest of the head out of all the people day. in Judgment Day. Yeah, well, I think all the people in Judgment Day are going to have a, an interesting <laughs> and, and a negative weekend. Right. Um, but I think that how you set the stage for that is having the leader lose on day one. Okay. So that's, I, my, know, that's I, my logic, at least. No, I, the, I understand the, the, it. I have very little confidence in this pick. <laughs> Look, um, I, I'm the same way. I, I, like we're going, I like we're going head-to-head. -head. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and 
you know, who you pick will not influence who I pick. But at the same time, it, it, I was happy when you picked Rhea because then they said, okay, Except well, now we one. have one more match that can be really interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no. And I, I see your point, too. I mean, you have a huge point saying, and I thought about that, too, you know, her book signing and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I would, yeah, I'm not changing my my uh, pick. No. I'm, I'm going straight. Oh, no, by the way, neither of us, our thoughts should change other right. people's pick. No. Like, you know, because, because by the way, you might make some arguments on why you're choosing someone here where I might be like, oh, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> um, but I, I've kind of already locked in on who I'm who I'm going with. Yeah. Up next, we've got Gunther, who is the champion, who is going up against Sami Zayn. And on this one, um, I had been thinking, and you know this kind of man, thinking that forever and ever and ever, Gunther is not going to lose the Intercontinental title. And I recently had my mind changed about that after after watching um, Gunther's beat down on Sami Zayn and subsequent follow-up. I've changed my mind. Um, I think that um, I think Gunther is being set up to take the fall on this one. Um, so I am going to pick Sammy, Sammy Zayn. I think Sammy Zayn is due for a singles title push somewhere along the way. You know, uh, I, don't, I can't think of a better way to give it to him than WrestleMania. So um, 100%. that's this where is, I'm going. This this is. Um... This is uh, Cody Rhodes' light. Yeah, kind of. The, yeah, this, this, they they've been building up the finish the story. Yeah, um, for Sami Zayn as much as they've been doing it for Cody at a lesser degree. Yeah, um, and I agree with you. I am picking Sami Zayn. However, I will throw this out there into the stratosphere. There is a potential heel turn. In this match, okay, that could keep Gunther the champion. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not predicting it. I am agreeing with you with Sami Zayn, but I believe Chad Gable could pull a heel turn on this one and say, "No one's beating Gunther but me." Ah, uh, okay, and, and costing Sami Zayn, and I, I, I think that could be a fascinating storyline after the after WrestleMania. So I'm leaving that on the table. But I am picking Sami Zayn because I think that's the direction they're going. Yeah, and I like how you're building post WrestleMania plans because I'm actually doing some of the same th thing with some of my predictions as well. Yep. So, um, yeah, yeah, a little bit of fantasy book in there. Um, yeah. Up. That's next, what makes this fun. It is. It, it, it totally is. It totally. And hopefully, you guys are having fun with us. By the way, leave some comments down there for us in the bottom there. Let us know what your picks are going to be for this uh, upcoming show. I'd like to read that or get with us on Discord and you can talk directly with us the whole live. time. Yeah, live through the show. Live through the show. Both I and the kind man will be present. So, yes, um, absolutely. God, I can't wait. Anyways, let's get on to it. Uh, the Judgment Day uh, is going to take on, they're, they're going to defend their titles in a uh, six pack tag team ladder match for both the red and blue straps against DIY, The Awesome Truth, The New Day, A-Town Down Under, and New Catch Republic. Now, By the way, yeah. I didn't even know when I looked at this match who the fuck The New Catch Republic is. <laughs> oh. like, like, that's the first time I've ever seen anyone on a, on a WrestleMania card where I had to look up who the hell it was. Really? I, they've yeah. been announcing them as New Catch Republic for like, well, in fairness, like the last three weeks, but yeah, four weeks. Yeah, but I... I, I drink a lot, so yeah. like I'm you watching these that. things at like you know ten o'clock at night after a few gin and tonics. I can't I can't remember everyone. If no. you don't stand out, you're off my list. Yeah, that's right. You drank those brain cells away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I have a a a. I know this was put out there. And I know they mentioned this on commentary, right? They did. They said that. You know, just because you pick one set of championships doesn't mean you can't have two set of championships. Right. And I know that set everyone a tizzy, a tizzy right? Um, people online are predicting two teams to win this thing back, left, front, and right. I'm going right. to take a bit of a back step to that. I think that was a misdirect. And I think the only team that's going to win is DIY. Okay. So, DIY wins the whole thing. They're going to win. So this is this this match is a two pointer. Yes. 
in, in the bet. Yep. I'm putting both my points on DIY. You're, you're putting everything on DIY. All on DIY. Okay. So I am I am going to do a complete, like, something that is going to be very interesting to you. And I think you're going to okay. love this. Okay. Okay. I am going, and by the way, Oba Femi is coming down mm. to the ring, and that dude is a badass. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me tell you that. Um, I am going to give one of my belts to DIY. Okay. So we are not, we are not. Um, so we're not, I'm not losing that, completely. But we're also close. Okay. Um, I am going to, I just think this is kind of a lifetime achievement award. I am going to give the second belt to Awesome Truth. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to give I'm going to give our Truth a belt at WrestleMania a signature moment. I'm going to give the Miz kind of, hey, listen, dude, go take care of your wife. Your career's over. You know, like just yeah. You know, let, let let's. You know, you have been a main eventer, I, I, underdog. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, strong personality, but I'm going to give the Miz and our Truth a belt here too. On top of DIY, I've already alluded to the fact that I think, um, you know, that the, the, the Judgment Day is going to have a bad night. Yeah. Um. So, you know, I I could see. By the way, I could see them keeping both. Oh sure. If, if they go, if they go. By the way, if Rhea Ripley wins, I'm very nervous about this pick, um, because because I think that they could go the complete opposite direction. Yeah. Where Judgment Day just has a dominant WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go DIY and Awesome Truth, um, as the two different winners, and you have DIY sweeping it. Right. Yep. Now, I, I had thought about, and it's funny you mentioned who the hell is New Catch Republic. I actually had them at one point winning the other set of straps. I had okay. DIY and New Catch Republic separating the uh, straps, but I thought to myself, no, 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 I wouldn't do that. Um, and I sure as hell hope, you know, I'm okay with them splitting the titles up, right? No, no doubt about well, it. Well, I think they should. Like, yeah. I, like, I think that's, yeah. I think that's the better route. I mean, that's the design, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is to have a Raw and a SmackDown champion. It, it was, yeah. Um, one thing I didn't, one thing I didn't look at was, are, is Awesome Truth and DIY in separate shows? I don't even know. Yeah. Um, they can certainly move that on the fly. Oh, they can. Quick. Yeah. I, I think they, they can be pretty nimble. <laughs> yeah. on that one if they if they want to be i actually think diy is on the same roster as on raw with um uh, awesome truth but that and notwithstanding yeah yeah and that could be a problem that could be a hole in my pick because maybe yeah. they do want to keep them you know make sure they're separate but i believe that they can be triple h yeah. can probably be pretty nimble as it relates to yeah to that but i i i look at the r-truth uh, and and the um Miz as being kind of a lifetime achievement um parting gift yeah, yeah. Uh, to their career and I suppose I, I kind of feel you know a similar ish way when it comes to Johnny Gargano who's never wrestled at Wrestlemania and would essentially be doing his first match at Wrestlemania winning tag team titles so what a and also, and also a you've, got to look, you've got to look at the style of wrestler to win a ladder match. Yeah. Yeah. You, you really do. And that's, that's why I actually considered the new day um, just because their style is so set for that. Yeah. But I just don't, I don't believe they're relevant anymore. Um, I, I did. That's why I didn't pick the new catcher Republic. Cause I don't, I don't believe their style is set. Yeah. I mean, you got this little, you know, huge, Little little guy climbing up a ladder and reaching up. Like, yeah. no, he ain't doing that. No. Um and Austin Theory and Grayson Waller were rumored to be out of this match. Yeah, I don't know what the Le leading up to this. So I don't think they have any chance. Yeah, I don't think they're um I think the judgment day is absolutely in the mix here. Yeah. Um, but I I, I once again I said my 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 theme for tonight is a bad night for the judgment day. Yeah. Up next, we've got Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. I have to be honest, I don't care about this match, but <laughs> it's just, uh But I mean, 
they're trying to make this as a brother versus brother match, and it's supposed to be something I care about, right? But I, I well, just, it is. I don't care. It is, and, and you know, but I don't care. I don't care about it. They haven't done anything to excite me. It's just wait, bland. It's, it's main event Jey Uso, dude. You mean mid card Jey Uso? <laughs> Give me a break. No, I say that. No. I say that sarcastically. Yeah, I know. You know, to call yourself main event, you have to actually be in a fucking main event once in a while. Well, he had what? He's had like what two, three main events since split from well, his brother. I, I don't think he's ever had a main event on a. He main evented live. Raw. I think he made it at Raw no, once no, or twice. Raw, but I'm saying premium live event. Oh no, he's never made it. Yeah, yeah. He's mid card. Oh, it's so. hard. It's hard to give yourself that nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I like him, <laughs> and the and, and, and he, he is he, he is better than his twin brother. Like uh, overall, as a character, as a yeah. performer, as a yeah, whatever. I don't understand Yeet. I'm too old well, no. to understand it, dude, dude. We're dude. We're the wrong demographic. I know. I, I I I guess. I guess. No, no, I, I had to Google it, and I still didn't understand. No, I still don't understand when, it either. When Google can't explain to me <laughs> Yeet, that's yeah. when I know it's it's just it's yeah, up it's, here, <laughs> right over the head. Yeah, forget yeah. about it. Anyways, no, no I don't, nothing I don't, against J- I, Jimmy. By Uso's. the way, one day I hope you get in your wrestling crate. I uh-huh. hope you get a Yeet T-shirt. Oh my God, I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't know what it meant. I, it'd be like you might as well put "Death to America" on a T-shirt and give it to me. Yeah. I wouldn't wear that either. You know. Uh, uh, um. Yeet, God, no. Yeet. My pick is Jimmy Uso. I don't care. I'm moving past. I'm moving forward. But yeah, I, okay. I, I pick Jimmy to win yeah. because I got to pick one, and I don't care. So I'm picking Jimmy. Wow. I, I got Jimmy as well. All right. Um, That's a surprise. push. I thought, I thought this was one of the hardest ones I had to pick. Yeah. Because I think obviously Jay is the more of a darling of the WWE than, yeah. than Jimmy. Yeah. I just I just believe there's going to be some bloodline interference here. And this is going to be Solo Sokoa and Jimmy versus yeah. Jay. Oh, it will be. And um, I, I think Jay loses. I think this is yeah. a comeuppance for him. Yeah. Uh, and, and it makes yeah, the bloodline look that, strong going into the main event. I, I That's the really, key for me. I really felt as though this is going to be one of the ones we had a difference on. Because Oh, yeah, no. No, that was my sole pick was the fact that it, it was, was going to make... It was more because you don't give a shit. Well, and, it's more that I don't give a know. shit, yeah. But if I had to take a thing, it's like, yeah, okay. If you're going to keep the bloodline strong for the main event, Jimmy has to win. So, you know, I'm I'm thinking big picture with this match, yeah. not individual stuff. So, um, I really would have liked a better opponent for both of these guys at WrestleMania, but I guess. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think Jimmy is in WrestleMania if it's not brother versus brother. Yeah, like like unless they did like. So what is he going to do next year? Are they going to have the match again? Well, no. But what I'm saying is Jimmy's not a. He's just. He's either a tag team partner or he's yeah. not. He's a, a henchman. A right. Personality. Yeah. He's a henchman. He's not main event. Yeah. No. Right. He's not main event. That's what Jay. I said. He's not main event. All and right. By the way, this will this will not. Spoiler alert. I'm just guessing here as I have no internal knowledge, but this will not be the main event tonight. No, this will not be the main. It'll be a special main event, but it won't be the main event. Every match at WrestleMania is a main event, pal. <laughs> uh, um, up next, this is one I think is a kind of a no-brainer. Uh, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi face off against Damage Kirtle with uh, Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kairi Sane. And this is going to be a six-woman tag team match. I don't think there's any dispute with this. I don't think there's much to discuss. If, if Bianca, Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi don't win, we riot. Um, that's what I think is going to happen. I don't think, you know, look, it's Jade Cargill's first WrestleMania. It's Naomi's first WrestleMania back. It's Bianca Belair. They're not losing to Damage Control. They're just not. I think Damage Control takes the loss. The titles aren't on the line. There's nothing on the line. They can take, they can eat the pin and, and walk away unscathed. But I think this is your feel-good women's match of the night. I, that's that's how I see this one being, you know, the little spot. Could I give you the opposite side? Yeah, go for it. Okay. 
Um, I believe this is ripe, ripe to set up a Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair clash. Okay. You're going to go there right away. Okay. So I believe that's what they're setting up here. Sure. Is Cargill versus Belair. Because I, I believe that's fascinating and great wrestling and exciting. Um, having said that, <laughs> I'm going to go with you on your pick <laughs> because yeah. I just don't have the balls to say that clash is going to cost them the match. Yeah. Although I do think that's possible. If, if Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair lose, it will be due to some sort of clash between Cargill and Belair. Yeah, yeah. And look, that Jade Cargill I, works better as a heel anyway. But. Correct. And that's where I think they're going. Sure. And the other, the other, I'll give you another, I'm giving you guys tidbits that go against my predictions. Um, but the other one is uh, Dakota Kai flipping. Oh, uh, okay. In this match that could cost, you know, them. That was the reason why I ultimately, I broke the tie. I said, I think Cargill versus Bel Air is a collision course. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think there's a chance that Dakota Kai flips back. And this has been a big thing against damage control on her end. She's a double secret agent. She's a double secret flipper. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. So I, I think that's possible. But yeah, I have to go with the feel good woman's match of the night sure. with you as well but i do see the path to damage control winning yeah latino world order ray mysterio and dragon lee which was changed i think wasn't it dragon lee is out um as of smackdown and andrade is in so it'll be ray mysterio and andrade versus santos escobar and dirty dom and I am tagging Santos Escobar and Dirty Dom to win that match. I yeah. think that this continues the LWO Santos Escobar feud past WrestleMania. I think this gives each of those individuals something to something tangible to work with that's familiar to the audience as they go forward into say uh, I don't know what what's the next pay per view that they have? Is it Backlash? Um, I. I'm not sure. I think Backlash might be right. Yeah. I know Money in the Bank is coming up. Yeah. Backlash, um, Money in the Bank, Clash at the Castle. So they have to have something to do to go forward from WrestleMania that's familiar enough to the audience that they can still, you know, digest it and have something that they're vested in. Um, I do think it's Backlash, by the way, because yeah. it's like Backlash from WrestleMania. Didn't they call it WrestleMania Backlash at one or, once or twice? I think they did. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, not neither here nor there. Um, but I think Santos Escobar and Dirty Dom are going to wind up taking this one simply to move um, their story inch by inch a little bit because they don't want to end this just yet. I don't think they do. Um, and I think that setting up a win, whilst it's not impossible to continue the story with if Ray and, and, and um, Andrade get a win, um, I don't think Ray or Andrade need a win here. Um, I, right. think, I think Ray can eat a pin or can take a count out uh, somewhere and be just fine and escape just fine. Actually, Ray can take a pin and be just fine anyway. He doesn't need to win to yeah, be no. popular. But yeah, um, that's the way I see it going. Um, but I could be wrong. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm going to go head to head with you here. Um, All right, I'm going to take Escobar and Dominic. Uh, so that's going to be another um, head to head for us. Um, my logic on this, and I, I think. I'm not sure the change in partner did anything for me yesterday. Yeah. Um, I I believe there's going to be a Carlito flip here. Oh, yeah. The one, the one thing they've been very much alluding to is Carlito being very miffed. He wasn't chosen as Ray's partner. They, they've showed his facial expression when he chose yeah. Dragon Lee. They showed his facial expression when Dragon Lee dropped out, and now he had a second choice, and it still wasn't Carlito. 
<laughs> right? Um, so I guess I could say the the change in partner last night did help my my case because I think Carlito's pissed. Um, I can see Carlito's going with Santo and and you know in in that group. Um, also, although I said I think that the Judgment Day will have a bad night, this was the one where I wanted them to have a good night. Mm -hmm. because I, I saw an interview with Rhea Ripley on um, Pat McAfee's show uh, this week. And it was very interesting how much she backed Dom in this interview while the mm -hmm. crowd was like booing. Because it was like at the WrestleMania experience, like event or whatever. Right. And he's interviewing her and they're booing every time they bring up the word Dom, like they're booing. And she just... And she wasn't completely in character, right? She, she was, she was, she, she was fun, and she was whatever. But whenever they brought up Dom, she was like, "That's my guy," like that's my guy. And when I think about my theory that the Judgment Day is going to be revamped after this, after after tonight and tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, she's behind him, so he's not going anywhere. So I think the the you know um, Damian Priest being miffed that Dominic is bringing in you know th th these various people and yeah bringing, elbow yo folks you know, yeah like it, I don't think Dominic is losing that battle yeah uh, so I think he wins this match I think this makes him a further villain. You need to, when I started doing these predictions, I started putting a, 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 a slash up there for good guys, heels, good guys, heels. And I started to say, okay, in the end, it has to be pretty close, you know, as, yeah. as we look at it. And yeah. th this to me was a perfect example of how to send a couple eight-year-olds home crying, <laughs> which, which they need to do. That's what you like to do. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what so, kind men in the boiler room aspire to. Absolutely. That, How can I get one small child to go home from WrestleMania tonight in tears? And here's how I do it. That's how you do it. He's masterful, folks. They don't call him the kind man for nothing. Absolutely not. Um, And final match for night one is uh, the bloodline, which is Dwayne and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Franklin Rollins. Copyright Jim Cornette. Um, this is a stipulation tag match with um, should Rhodes and Rollins secure victory, all members affiliated with the bloodline will face exclusion from ringside during the night two undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Uh, but should The Rock and Roman Reigns prevail, the championship match on night two will be conducted by Bloodline Rules, which I think you will see The Rock as the special referee. Um, that's Ooh. my big prediction. And of course, you know, Solo and Jimmy will be hanging out somewhere, but I think they're going to make The Rock the special guest referee because my pick is The Bloodline wins. Um okay. Um, I, I don't think there's a person on the planet who doesn't expect the bloodline to win here, the rock to pick up a victory at WrestleMania or the rest of the bloodline to screw Cody and, uh, Seth Rollins, which is what I think is going to happen into losing that match where solo Sokoa comes in and spikes, you know, Cody, which I think is what's going to happen, uh, leading the rock to pin Cody. I think that's the way it's going to wind up going down. Yeah. And then of course, I and then, of course, you've got, you know, night two, which is, you know, everybody against. Well, we'll get, we'll get to night two in a minute. But anyways, yeah, yeah that's what I think is going to happen. I don't see, I know you've said before that Seth Rollins is going to turn. I don't see that happening because of what I've got set up at night two. But yeah, I, yeah. No, so I, I, see, I see a turn in this two-night event. Sure. I don't necessarily see it night one. I, sure. I am on the same page with you and we're in lockstep there. I think there's no way The Rock and Roman Reigns lose this match. No. Because, by the way, the story of winning with Bloodline Rules is the story. It is. 
It is. So, it totally is. So how could you not set up the story being finished without a story? Unless you set up, unless you write the story. Yeah, yeah. It's, otherwise, it's so, a book of empty so pages. I, I think. I think this. I think this one's the easiest pick of the group. Definitely. Because like, I just I I see no way where they don't set up Sunday as a complete no chance. No chance in hell that Cody finishes the story. <laughs> right. Like, I, I don't see them setting it up any different, so I, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. All right. That takes us to night two of WrestleMania, which, um, again, this is the rumored match order. If it changes, don't don't hang me in effigy. Don't don't at, at him. Yeah. <laughs> don't Don't ping me. So to speak. Well, I take it back. You want to ping me? Ping me all you yeah, want. Say, ping hey, me all you like. Hey, listen, this was supposed to be the second match, and you said it was the first match. And I will congratulate you for being a better wrestling mind than I. Um, and and for listening. We'll credit and for, you listening, for listening. Yeah, I, I appreciate your patronage. Um, match number one on WrestleMania Forty Night Two. Looks to be, uh, and I think this is going to set up the rest of the night and future pay-per-views, right? So we've got Seth freaking Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. And I think um, Drew McIntyre gets his win at WrestleMania here. I think he's my pick. He is going to take the title over Drew McIntyre, over, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Seth Rollins. Now it's going to be a hard-fought battle. It's going to be a back-and-forth thing. It's going to be so hard-fought that Drew is going to be spent in the ring which is going to give ample time for Damian Priest to come down and cash in his money in the bank and win his world title at WrestleMania. This does a couple of things. One, it gives Drew McIntyre his win in front of people. Right? right? He gets that that little tick mark in his book checked for whatever it's worth. Number 2, right. it sets up the fact that Drew not only won the title but was screwed out of it again by the very people who screwed him out of it to begin with, which is who? The Judgment Day. And you don't march people into the middle of Clash at the Castle, which is coming up in Edinburgh, his hometown, which means that that is where Drew McIntyre is going to lose, or I'm sorry, win the WWE Championship against uh, uh, Damian Priest. And he's going to win that from Priest at Edinburgh, and that's going to be his bigger than WrestleMania moment. Everybody's going to yeah. go home happy. Um, that's how I see it going down. I could be totally wrong, but um, I don't think so. I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm right this time. I think I think you are right in who's going to win this match. Yeah. Um, whether Damian Priest cashes in here, that I don't know. Right. Um, by the way, we have Chase U warming up. <laughs> 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 For little matches. And then just uh, seeing Thea Hale just bouncing around. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Um, I, I do think, uh, I agree with you and this is another, you know, push. Yeah. Um, I have Drew McIntyre. This, this, this is, this is probably one of the easier picks mm -hmm. of, of the thing. I, I think there's no doubt when we look at Sami Zayn, when we look at Cody Rhodes, when we look at, um, uh, you know, Drew McIntyre, these are all people that have kind of been in the finish the story yeah um ilk of, of yeah. how they're how they're pitching this whole thing yeah so i do think he wins i don't know if I, it was interesting that that interview with um pat mcafee and uh rhea ripley she was like why do you think he's gonna cash in on um seth like he could yeah. very well cash in on the other one he could like so so there's there there's I don't think that's going to happen, but right. she actually threw that out there in a public interview. Yeah. Um, that don't don't think he's just going after Seth this week. And by the way, I wouldn't be shocked if Dave and I said this in a previous episode. I wouldn't be shocked if Damian Priest cashed in on Sami Zayn um, yeah. after after that, or or or, or you know um, Gunther if he wins. Like yeah. I, I wouldn't be shocked to see that or Logan Paul. I wouldn't be shocked Logan to see Paul. that that happen. <laughs> um, uh. So, you know, it doesn't have to be the World Heavyweight Championship. No. Um, 
that is cashed in on. But he does need to do it soon, and WrestleMania seems like a good time. Yeah, he's running out of time is what it boils yeah, down to. Yeah, but I, I am going with Drew McIntyre. I think this one's yeah. a no-brainer. This is this is one of those Royal Rumble-like matches that we kind of know who's going to win. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, the other storyline here is um, Rollins gets beat up on day one. And 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 an all along Drew McIntyre is like, why are you worrying about this other fight when you have me? And yes, it'll be one of those ten finisher matches. And by the way, Kalani Jordan is breathtaking. She really is. Who? Kalani Jordan. I don't even think I know who that is. Oh, she's NXT. I love her. She's an upper comer. She's a high flyer. She's Kalani Jordan is. She's my cup of tea. All right. Google. All right. The kind man has a cup of tea, and she has a name. uh, Spoiler, she is not one of my top five (laughs) wrestling high flyers of all time, (laughs) but she is a great up-and-coming high flyer. Very nice. And she is not so tough to look at. Speaking of uh, female sports entertainers, up next would be EO Sky. Versus Bailey for the WWE Women's Championship. And I am, and this may be controversial, I don't know, but I'm going with Io Sky. I think she retains this 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 championship belt. I don't think on night two you can have more than a couple of title changes. Um, and since I've already sw- swapped the world championship and I have one coming up that's gonna change, I can't in good conscience say we're gonna you know, crown another world champion on the on the same card um and not that that's my only um criteria i just think with bailey's reinvention i i I don't think she's gonna get hurt if she eats a pin here i I think she's gonna be able to to come back from this with all of her new quote-unquote friends and um get back into uh championship contention um I, i think you know there's a difference, and, and maybe this is the story they're trying to tell. Maybe I could be wrong. There's a difference between, you know, building your way towards a championship title run or championship match and, you know, winning the Royal Rumble. Winning the yeah. Royal Rumble, anybody can do. That's that's how they sell it. You know, any number of participants or any superstar can win a Royal Rumble. You had a 1 in 30 chance. At least that's what they, they brandy to us, right? Um, and Bailey has had nothing but losses and losses and losses over the last, you know, few months. And that's, you know, been at the detriment sometimes taking the, uh, shots so that damage control could make the win, um, or, or, or get the upper hand. But, um, I think because she was used as a tackling dummy by her own crewmates for so long, you know, I, I just think the odds are not in her favor to win. I think there's going to be interference. I think there's going to be shenanigans afoot. I think you're going to have all kinds of a weeping and gnashing of teeth over this one, but Eosky is going to retain the championship. Okay, so I will agree with you. There will be interference and there will be shenanigans. Yeah. But I am on the other side here. I okay. will go Bailey um, because I think that there will be possibly, I mentioned earlier, a Dakota Kai flip. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, they could influence this and shock damage control and 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 all of that. So I'm going to go Bailey. I, I believe it's the better. Once again, it's there's a theme here of finishing stories. There is. That I, I think I think is 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 repeatable throughout this show and. I don't look at how many belts change. I look at heels versus heroes. Like that's that's how I look at it. Sure. And th- this was one of the ones that made my day two, three, and three. Um, so I I have Bailey here. So we have another right. we have another difference. And I'll stone cold crack one. There you go. Um it's interesting have- for me because we have radically different approaches as to how we come about our, our, our picks. And yet sometimes we're still in, in lockstep, you know? Um, yeah. I look at it from a 10,000 foot view, you know, yeah. 
Um, I don't go too far into the weeds. I, you know, my, my thing is, you know, what makes the most sense from long-term planning? Um, well, that, that's, I, I think, I, I think the same thing, like yeah. what's the next step on this? Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, it's Dakota Kai and Bailey versus damage control. Yeah. Like that, that's how I see this whole thing playing out. Yeah. This is probably why I don't work for WWE because I can't figure this shit out, but. Well, I mean, listen, we all can't work for, you know, listen, we all can't be sexually harassed by Vince. <laughs> you know? But I want to be. No, I'm kidding, folks. I'm teasing. No. Vince, you touch my tushy. That's right. <laughs> I'm not making light of things, folks. I'm just, golly. I'll cover some of this in my State of the Union next next time oh, on. Um, I've on been in HR AEW. my entire career, so yeah. take anything I say seriously. Up next, we have <laughs> L.A. Knight versus A.J. Styles, and this is no stipulations. This is no, it's just a singles match. Um, I'm not as jazzed about this, even though you know L.A. Knight went to A.J. Styles' house and you know got arrested and did hard time like Dom Dom. Um, you know, I, I I guess I'm gonna go with L.A. Knight over A.J. Styles again. To me, this is like Jimmy versus Jay. I'm not. I'm just not interested in it. Um, it holds zero interest for me just because there's there's no stake. There's just nothing to it. It's not WrestleMania for me. It's just a match. I This is a match I would expect to see on SmackDown. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so, sure. you know, LA Knight I, versus AJ Styles. I'm going with LA Knight just because somebody has to win. I don't have any strong tie one to the other. By the way, I wish from these matches you don't care about, we had differences. Um, <laughs> just for the sake of fun. Uh, but yeah, I got LA Knight too because yeah. I believe they're going to get him back in the main picture. Yeah, and they to do that he has to win here. To your point, the match doesn't mean anything, but I think it does. Um, sure. AJ Styles is great. I love him. I, I think he's a he's been a great wrestler. He's a good character. He's good everything. But there's no road for him. Yeah. Um, may, maybe maybe it's to face Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship, you know, af after he beats Gunther, you know, or if he beats Gunther. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't see a real uh, a real line for for AJ Styles, but I do see a line for LA Knight. Um, he's some nights I love LA Knight. Mm hmm. Um, some nights I, I think he's just a complete rock slash stone cold knockoff. Yeah. And, I, and, and, and so, so I don't like, him. like, I don't think he's unique enough, but I think he's captivating enough. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think he needs, he needs to find a way to not sound like the rock fucked stone cold. Like yeah. he, he 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 needs to find a way to not sound like that, but still be him. Yeah, and, I've seen him do interviews where he's like, "I don't know how to do it any other way. That's just me being me," you know. Yeah, but know. but 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 it, it it he does feel like a knockoff. He does. I you know I I've I've said it too. You know, if you come down to the ring and you wear a vest and you talk like that, you're going to evoke some you know strong imagery from other superstars who shall go unnameless. Yeah, and I think he just needs to. I think he just needs to find a, a unique, authentic voice. Yeah, that yeah. is. You know, I, I don't know. I love him. I, I think he's entertaining. I think yeah. like it, it take it takes a lot for me to like a good guy. It really does, because I just I gravitate towards heels. Yeah. Um, and but I I when he when I hear his music, I'm in. But I, but I do think it's he, he he could use a little bit of uniqueness. Yeah. Logan Paul, the champion, United States champion rather, uh, versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens in a triple threat for the uh, WWE United States Championship. And on this one, I have Logan Paul retaining. Not that this won't be a good match; it'll be a great match, I think. Um, but, uh, I, I, I don't see Logan Paul losing the championship just yet. Um, he's a celebrity. This is WrestleMania. Celebrities at WrestleMania typically don't lose. So I feel like I'm pretty safe in this assertion, um, that Logan Paul is going to, uh, 
retain the United States Championship here at WrestleMania. Somehow, some way, by hook or by crook. Yeah, I... My initial thought was Kevin Owens on this. Okay. And, and, I, and I have since... I've since backtracked. Um, I don't think Randy Orton is winning. That I don't see. I, no, I think yeah. Randy... I think Randy Orton retires after this WrestleMania. I think this is the last we'll see of him. Great career. Wonderful job. What makes you think that? Uh, I think there's been rumors that he's, you know, more focused on family now. He's he's ha he's had quite the long career. Um, yeah. And as you know, this business is not long for the tooth for a lot of people. Like yeah. this is like, and he, and he, but he has been around yeah. for a long time, but, you know, being part of the business with his dad and, yeah. you know, and all of those things. I, I just think, you know, he, he's, he's made more, more of an impression recently, like on social media about showing family stuff and, and, and this, that, and the other thing that I think he's just, he's ready. Yeah. Um, I, I actually think, I actually thought he was going to retire after the, 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 um, Elimination Chamber, but the way he lost mm -hmm. made him a part of this match. Um, so I don't think he wins uh, at all. I, I originally had Kevin Owens jotted down. I have switched it to Logan Paul. A lot of what you have said. I mean, Prime mm -hmm. is now a sponsor of the WWE. <laughs> like, Ugh. like yeah. it's it's hard to market Logan Paul without a strap. Yeah, yeah, precisely. That's, that's, how I, that's how I look at it. It's, yeah. it's a hard, like he's a great. A he, he's great on the mic. He's great, but as a villain without a strap, I think he's useless. Yeah, he would have to lose it to somebody who had um, had a rocket strapped to his ass, basically. And or he could lose, or he could lose it to Kevin Owens, and on Monday Night Raw, get it back. Like that could happen too. He could, like, yeah. I, I could I've that seen that happen. Re rematch clause, whatever. Like, but also I, I look at it like, okay, United States champion Kevin Owens is wildly open about being Canadian. Like, does that fit? Like, not to say Canadian can't wear the United States championship. Yeah. I get, I understand that. Can Lance happen. Storm did it. He called it the Canadian championship. <laughs> right. No, but that, that yeah. that's the point. But but like that was actually one of the tiebreakers for me. It was yeah. like Logan Paul, you know, I, I was once again listening to the Pat McAfee show where they interviewed Logan Paul and 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 Pat McAfee introduced him as we are in the United States, your new United States champion. Yeah. Like Logan Paul. Like so I, yeah, I and by the way. He's been great in big events. He has been. No doubt about it. Absolutely. You know, I got to give him credit where it's due. Yeah. No, great. He's a, he's a performer. He's a, he's a personality. Yeah. And yeah, as much as I would, you know, <laughs> I'd love to take Kevin Owens to be on the other side than you. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take Logan Paul as well. That's the way to go. All right. Up next. Um, Another match that I, I I don't know that I really care about because it feels like it was thrown together. Just by the way, to have is this something. really rumored to be the second to last match of WrestleMania? Yeah, yeah, and I can't figure this out, but you know, no. this is this, the pride. This sounds to me like a first match night. One. I know this is supposed to. This is I don't understand the placement on this, but you know, nevertheless, um, the pride, Bobby Lashley, Angelo Dawkins, and Montez Ford with. B Fab, I'm not. Who the hell is B Fab? I don't know who B Fab is. She's, she's a lady. Oh, is she? I, I maybe I just haven't looked. Don't. Yeah. It's not on my radar. Versus the final testament, Karrion Cross, Akam Razor, uh, with Paul Ellering, one of my personal favorites, and Scarlet. So I guess that's gonna um, balance out the the B Fab on the other end of things, but. You know, I don't expect Paul Ellering to get physical in this thing. What is he, like, 80? Um, 
Now, I love Paul Ring. This is a six-man tag team Philadelphia street fight, so I'm assuming that we're going to have all kinds of weapon and plunder and trash cans and kendo sticks and tables and chairs and ring bells and cables and... Oh, my. Right. <laughs> all kinds of stuff, as Dusty would call it, plunder. But... Uh, um. I just, again, this feels like it was thrown together at the last minute. I don't care about it, so I'm going with the final testament because somebody has oh, to win. All the ones we don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That I love sucks. It. Oh, no, it doesn't I suck. It's awesome. You went Bobby Lashley in the street. Oh, no, no, man. I can't just go. Just so again. we had a reason to watch this. No. That'll be a, a, a good point for me to take a quick nap before the main event. So... But yeah, that's yeah. That, that's my pick, and I'm sticking to it. I mean, listen, you you, you ask me if I could name the members of the Final Testament, I can't. <laughs> um, but I'm picking them. Right. So, I like uh, the guys in the Final Testament. Carrie and Cross, Aikman, and Razor are all great on their own. Scarlet is great. Paul Eldering is great. I just don't know if they're good together. It just seems like they're haphazardly <laughs> mushed together in some. I think we're gonna have a very. I, I think what I what I take from this is that belt is pretty much going to be decided tonight. Is it really? Because we only have one difference in night two so far. Okay. And we have one match left. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to have a difference in this one, but the last match, folks, is the main event of main events. The one I'm sporting right now, I think my pick is very clear and obvious. Uh, Roman Reigns is going to be dethroned by Cody Rhodes, even with The Rock as the special guest referee, even with Jimmy as the special guest timekeeper, even as Solo would be the ring announcer, which makes me crack up just thinking about it. I don't think that'll happen, but that'd be funny if it did. Um, and Paul Heyman as the, the uh, timekeeper guy. So, yeah, you'll have all the bloodline there at ringside to do... two timekeepers there. What's that? You you had two timekeepers. Oh, did I? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean timekeepers. Then Paul Heyman can do commentary then. Jimmy and, and Paul Heyman as timekeepers. Well, then Paul Heyman to do commentary. That's So that all of them are out there. You know, you've got... The, the point is, there's all the nefarious so-and-sos, so and sorts at ringside for this event. And, of course, The Rock is going to be the uh, special ref. Um... I had almost thought about toying with the idea of, of, of saying, you know, this match is going to end in a dusty finish, which would be appropriate and funny, but not finish the story. So they have to finish the story and not do the dusty finish, which uh, is the rock somehow gets knocked out. He's going to get knocked out through interference. Um, you're going to bring a second referee down there or triple H is going to walk a second referee down to the ring. Um, and thus count the pin. I, hell, maybe Triple H himself is going to count the three pin, the, the, the three count. I don't know. I've seen promoters go down to the ring and do it before. Paul Heyman did it at ECW one night stand. There's no reason why Triple H couldn't take the power upon himself to crown his own champion. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out. I'm not going to make any strong guesses here. But um, I am going to tell you that uh, Cody Rhodes is somehow, some way, going to beat adversity and win the uh, WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship Hulk Hogan title belt. Kai Man, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Um, I think there, as we uh, we alluded to in night one, I think we're stacking the deck against Cody yeah. to, to finish the story. Um, one thing I will ask you is, based on this... I mean, listen, if I'm 2-1 down going into Sunday, mm -hmm. can I change a pick? Because if I'm 2-1 down and we only have one difference on Sunday, you know, tie goes to the champion. That I don't is. want Sunday not to matter. Um, can can I go to you and say, hey, I'm, you know, those street profits, they look great tonight. Like they're all they're revved up, um, you know. Because I mean, the, the differences we have are on um, Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley match. Mm -hmm. We have one difference of four potential 
in or, or two potential in the six pack ladder match. Right. We have a difference in the Rey Mysterio match, and we have Do a we? difference in Bailey versus Io Sky. Okay. Which is just one, two, three, four. Wow. Which means to, for me to win the title, I'd have to win three out of four. Which is which would be very difficult. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Not, I'll give you a fighting chance. You want it, you got it. You all you have to do is just put it in the Discord channel. Yeah. And uh, no, after not I'm not changing anything in night one. Yeah. You know, but um once we get to night two, if if I need to have a chance for a lot of these ones we don't care about, we don't you know, maybe 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 I go Kevin Owens, maybe I go Bobby Lashley, you know, right. like just just to make it interesting come Sunday. Right. Well, I, I, I will allow it because uh, I want you to have a fighting chance. I want there to be any excuses when oh, you, you lose. Got, you got to be a fighting champion. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm totally a fighting champion. That's why I'm putting the belt on the line. Right. This is why you have to take advantage of the opportunities that I'm giving you. Because this is the only championship title that matters in all of ABW wrestling. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. It is cool. It's Undertaker. <laughs> Really badass title. Nonetheless, um, uh, that that is our uh, predictions. Those are our WrestleMania uh, spoilers slash predictions, um, and that is uh, our WrestleMania size uh, show. Is there anything else you want to add to that before we wrap things up, Mister Kind Man? Oh, we got. We're about to have uh, Lyra Valkyria versus Roxanne Perez here. Um, which is a big match. Yeah, so but, if you're not watching yeah. NXT, um, I, of course, I'm not going to. I'm not watching it. I'll have to put it on TV while I'm mixing the video down. Hopefully, we get the video out to you guys uh, long before WrestleMania shows up on your TV Yeah, that would be good. That would be, yeah. be positive. Yeah, because we'd really like it for you guys to be able to watch this. And, of course, you know, if you don't get around to watching it until Sunday, that's okay, too, because you're still going to get those predictions and that pre-match results. So, sure. Um, Gosh, without any further ado, I think that's it. We want to thank all of you, yeah, you, for being with us today. Please consider dropping an elbow on that subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra saucy, frog splash over to that little thumbs up emoji con. We would appreciate it. And please share our channel with people you think might like this sort of thing. It helps us grow. It helps you grow. It helps everybody grow. It helps us get more content. That's right. Once again, thank you all so much. We'll see you all next time. Take care and fuck Fred Durst.